Find the coordinates of the focus, the equation of the directrix, and the length of the latus rectum for each parabola. Then draw the parabola. Number 1. y squared equals 28x. Since it is quadratic in y, the parabola opens either to the right or left. It is of this form, y squared equals 4px. And this equation is either right or left. Since 28 is positive, which is also the value of 4p, we can say that this is parabola opening to the right. To verify that this is parabola opening to the right, we need to solve for the value of p. Since 4p is equal to 28, we can solve for the value of p. Anong minultiply kay 4 kaya naging 28? To determine, we divide the equation by 4 and simplify. So p is equal to 28 divided 4 is 7. So the value of p is equal to 7 and this is greater than 0. Therefore, this is parabola opening to the right. If p is greater than 0 and it is quadratic in y, the parabola opens to the right. Since we already have the value of p, we can now determine the focus, the equation of the rectrix, and the length of the latus rectum. Since the parabola opens to the right, the focus is P0. Nauunang value ni P kaysa kay 0. At dahil right ang opening ni parabola, kaya positive ang P. So the focus is at 7, 0. Next, let us find the equation of the rectrix. Anong sabi ko kanina? If it's quadratic in y, the equation of the directrix must be x equals negative p. Opposite siya. Kapag ito ang equation, ang directrix ay ito. x equals negative p. Since p is 7, the directrix is x equals negative 7. Here's your technique. If the vertex is at the origin, Tandaan nyo na kapag positive ang value ni P, pagpunta sa directrix ay magiging negative siya. At kung negative naman ang P, magiging positive ang value niya sa directrix. Remember that. At kung Y dito sa given equation, sa equation naman ni directrix ay X. Okay? So that is our technique. Next, let us find the length of the latus rectum. The length of the latus rectum, mapa right, left, upward, or downward, is equal to the absolute value of 4p. So this is equal to 4 times 7, the value of p. The absolute value of 4 times 7 is 28, which is also this value. Dito, kahit negative ang value ni p, the length of the latus rectum would always be positive. Kasi, absolute value ang kukunin natin. Now, in order to draw the graph of this equation, we first have to determine the endpoints of the latus rectum. So, we're gonna use this formula to determine the endpoints of the equation. Dito, nauunang value ni p kaysa kay 2p. So, the endpoints are p negative 2p and p positive 2p. Replace p with 7 and simplify. We copy 7, then negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. Next, we copy 7 and simplify 2 times 7 is positive 14. So these are the endpoints of the parabola. We can now sketch the graph. Since malaki ang value ni y dito, let us have here an interval of 2. First, let us plot the vertex. If this is our equation, that means the vertex is at the origin. So here it is. Next, the focus, which is at 7, 0. Then, the equation of the directrix, which is x equals negative 7. Hanapin natin itong value na ito sa x-axis, kasi x siya dito. Kung y ito, sa y-axis natin hahanapin. So this is x equals negative 7, and it is a vertical line. Next, plot the endpoints. 
7 negative 14, which is here, and 7 positive 14, which is located here. Then, connect these points, and this is now the graph of the parabola opening to the right. This is the latus rectum with a length of 28. It is 14 units up and 14 units down from the focus, a total of 28. And this is the axis of symmetry, y equals k, which is equal to y equals 0. And this is now the graph of y squared equals 28x. Another example. Number 2, let us also find the focus, the directrix, the length of the latus rectum under endpoints of the parabola y squared equals negative 16x. First, let us determine kung right, left, upward, or downward siya. Since this equation is also quadratic in y, this is either right or left. But since this value is negative, we can say that this is parabola opening to the left. To verify, we need to determine the value of p. 4p is equal to negative 16. Itong value na ito is 4p. Solve for p by dividing the equation by 4. So p is equal to negative 4. Negative 16 divide 4 is negative 4. Since negative 4 is less than 0 and it is quadratic in y, the parabola opens to the left. So sa focus, we are still going to use p0. Nauuna pa rin ang value ni p kaysa kay 0. But negative na siya kasi opening to the left ang ating parabola. Ito pa rin ang endpoints na gagamitin natin. Nauuna pa rin si p kaysa kay 2p. The axis of symmetry is y equals k, which is technically y equals 0, since the vertex is at the origin. And the equation of the directrix is x equals negative p. Therefore, the focus is at negative 4, 0. Our p is negative 4, then 0. The directrix is the equation x equals negative p which is x equals positive 4. Negative times negative 4 is positive 4. Or what is our technique? Kapag ang value ni p ay positive, sa directrix magiging negative. At kung negative ang value ni p, magiging positive. Since negative ang value ni p, kaya naging positive siya dito. Okay? Then the length of the latus rectum, which is equal to the absolute value of 4p. Replace p with negative 4 and simplify. 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. Absolute value of negative 16 is positive 16. And this is the length of latus rectum. Then, let us also determine the endpoints of the latus rectum so that we can draw the graph of the parabola. We use the formula p negative 2p and p positive 2p. Replace p with negative 4 and simplify. Copy negative 4 and simplify. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. Then, we copy negative 4. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. And these are the endpoints of the latus rectum. To sketch the graph, First, plot the vertex, which is at the origin, 0, 0. Then, the focus, which is at negative 4, 0. Next, the directrix, which is at x equals 4. It is also a vertical line since it opens left. And then, the endpoints, negative 4 and positive 8, which is here, and negative 4 and negative 8, which is located here. Connect these points, and we now have the graph of y squared equals negative 16x. This is the length of the latus rectum, which is equal to 16. And this is the axis of symmetry, y equals 0. As you can observe, kapag vertical ang directrix, horizontal naman ang axis of symmetry. 
Kapag x ang equation ni directrix, y naman ang equation ni axis of symmetry and vice versa. Just remember this. If you have an equation like x equals a number, like x equals 0, x equals 2, x equals 4, or x equals negative 4, and so on, the graph is a vertical line, and you must locate these values along the x-axis. But if the equation is y equals a number, like y equals 0, y equals 2, y equals 4, or y equals negative 4, and so on, we have a horizontal line, and these values can be found along the y-axis, okay? So let us have another example. Number three, find the focus, the directrix, the length and endpoints of the lattice rectum of the equation x squared minus y equals zero. First, we need to transpose y to the right side. So we have x squared equals y, from negative y to positive y. This kind of equation has a vertex located at the origin. So let us plot the center at 0, 0. Since it is quadratic in x, this is either upward or downward. But since it is positive here, we can say that this is parabola opening upward. To verify, we need to find the value of p. Pag walang nakasulat, meaning it is 1. And this is the value of 4p. If 4p is equal to 1, what's the value of p? We divide the equation by 4 and simplify. So p is equal to 1 over 4 or 1 fourth. And this value is greater than 0. Since the equation is quadratic in x and p is greater than 0, this is a parabola opening upward. So the focus now is at 0 p. Nauna ang 0 bagong value ni P. Positive dito si P pag upward siya at negative pag downward. The length of the lattice rectum is still the absolute value of 4P. But the endpoints are negative 2P and P and positive 2P and P. As you can see, dito nauna ang value ni P kaysa 2P. But dito, pag upward or downward ang parabola, Nauunang 2p kaisa sa p. The axis of symmetry is now along the y axis with the equation x equals h. Since the vertex is at the origin, the equation of the axis of symmetry, if the parabola opens upward or downward, is x equals 0. And the equation of the directrix is y equals negative p. And this is now a horizontal line. So the focus is at 0p, which is at 0 and 1 fourth. Let us plot this point on the Cartesian plane and locate 0 and 1 fourth. 1 fourth in decimal is 0 0.25. 0 0.25 is located between 0 and 0 0.5. So it is located here. So this point is the focus 0 and 1 fourth. Next. Find the equation of directrix. The equation is y equals negative p. Again, pag x dito sa given equation, pagdating kay directrix, dapat y siya. And this is equal to y equals negative 1 fourth. Pag positive dito si p, negative siya dito. Let us graph this equation. Remember, dahil y equals a number siya, this is a horizontal line. Hanapin natin ang negative 1 fourth sa y-axis. If this is negative 0.5 or negative 1 half, negative 1 fourth or negative 0.25 is located here, between 0 and negative 0.5. Draw a horizontal line and this is the directrix, y equals negative 1 fourth. Next, let us find the length of latus rectum. Replace p with 1 fourth and multiply it by 4. 4 times 1 fourth is equal to 1. 4 times 1 is 4, divide 4 is 1. 